Hey guys, Kimmy here from Joyfully Styled. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you have ever wondered how I curl my hair, you are going to learn in today's video. I achieved this exact hair look in under 10 minutes. It's honestly so easy, so simple. Anyone can learn how to do it and I'm going to teach you all of the tips and tricks on how to achieve this hair. I have been wearing my hair like this for so long. This is the easiest way I have found to do it. It's the quickest. And I always get so many questions and comments on my Instagram about how I do my hair, and now I'm going to teach you. If you wanna learn how I got this easy, effortless, everyday wave, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do in my hair curling tutorial is just brush my hair. So I start with straight hair. Last night I washed my hair, and I just let it air dry. And then this morning I just went over it with um, a straightener, just where it was either like just a little too crimped looking or if it was frizzy, I just went over it with a hair straightener and now I'm gonna get started. So the first thing I do after I brush my hair is I section off my hair. And the reason I do this is because if you don't section off your hair, there's just too much hair everywhere to deal with and you're just gonna kinda get lost while you're curling your hair. So I just use my dry bar clip, it works the best. So once I section my hair, I'm going to start with one side. And the curling iron I use is the Hot Tools with the clamp. It's one and a quarter inch. This is my all time favorite curling iron. I have used so many different kinds of curling irons, tons of different brands, and Hot Tools is always my favorite. I did another hair tutorial, it was actually my first video ever, I did a how to get beachy waves and I use the hot tools without the clamp, so just the wand. I love that one too, but this is the one that I use every day. This is my go-to when I just want my hair to look really nice but it doesn't take forever, I use this one. So I'm gonna start with a section of hair about this big and I take my curling iron and if you see me looking over here, over there, it's because I have mirrors there and I need to see what I'm doing so I don't burn myself. But I take my curling iron and I kind of run it through my hair first and then I start about halfway through my hair, roll it up, leave it for a couple seconds and then I undo the clamp just a little bit, roll it back up leave it again for a couple seconds and then just repeat that. So then just kind of push on the clamp so you let go of some hair and roll it up. And then I like to leave about, I would say like two, two and a half inches of hair out of um, the curling iron because I like my ends to be straight. I don't like when a curl goes all the way down to the end of the hair. I like the look of the straighter ends. So then once I'm done, I just uncurl it and there you go, there's our first curl. So I'm just going to repeat that on my entire head. Since I took a smaller section of hair for my first one, I really only have to do two curls on each side of my head just for the first section. So again, roll it up, let go of the clamp, roll it up again, let go. And honestly, once you get a hang of this, this is so easy. I don't have to think about it. It's just second nature. So just let go of the curl and there you go. And for this specific hairstyle that I'm doing, I curl all away from my face. And in my other hair tutorial where I do the beachy waves with the wand, I curl in every other direction. But when I'm just trying to achieve my everyday hair look that's super quick, I can do it in like 10 to 15 minutes, I just curl all away from my face. It's just easier that way and I get done much faster. Let's move on to the next side. So again, we're gonna take a small section, run the curling iron through the hair. It's honestly, it's so easy. Anyone can do this, you just have to practice. I learned how to curl my hair like this from Michelle Money. She was on The Bachelor and she made um, a YouTube video so long ago on how to curl your hair like this. And that is how I learned and I loved watching her video, but I always thought that looks so hard. I'm never gonna learn how to do it and how to use a curling iron like that. But I promise you just have to practice and then once you get that motion down, it's so easy. So now I'm actually going to break this into two 
smaller sections. I know on the other side, I just did two curls on that side, but I'm gonna do three on this side. It honestly doesn't matter. That's what I love about this hairstyle. It's so easy, you honestly can't mess up, and it's going to look good no matter what. So I'm gonna let go, and then curl the last piece in this section. So now that our hair is out of the clip, we are going to make a new section with our hair. And honestly, you might see some videos of people who just don't section off their hair, but I promise you it's going to make it so much harder on you if you don't section off your hair because there's just so much hair to deal with, you're going to miss certain spots, it's just so much easier if you section off your hair. So now I have to find where I curled those pieces. Okay, so now I have the straight hair that needs to be curled in my hand, and I'm gonna take the two little curls that I already did in my first section and move them to this side of my head so they're out of the way. Then I take my brush and I brush through this hair, and then I'm just gonna start all over again and do exactly what I just did. You can honestly take a section as small or as big as you want, and it's going to look good, it's gonna turn out well, so if you take a small section first and then the next curl is a bigger section, don't worry about it, it's going to look fine. So I know that I said before that for this specific hairstyle when I'm just trying to be super quick, I will curl them all away from my face. You can totally curl some away, some towards your face, depending on how much time you have. Sometimes I will do that. If I have a lot of time to spare, I will curl my curls every other direction. But just for my everyday hairstyle, I always just curl away from my face because you just don't even have to think about it. It's just so easy. We are done with that side. And now all the curls that we put to that other side, we need to now put on this side. So you only want to be working with the straight hair. You don't want any of the curls to get mixed in. It's just, it'll make things more complicated. So just brush through the straight section that you are about to work on. And I know I talk about this in all my videos, but the wet brush is a must have. So if you don't have one, I would definitely get one. They're only like, maybe $10 at most. This is the Wet Brush Pro, and this one really helps detangle hair. So again, doing the exact same thing that we just did on the other side. This hairstyle, you literally do the same thing on every single layer, so that's why it makes it so simple. I personally find it easier to work with smaller sections, like a little less than an inch sections of hair. It just makes it easier to curl and then they curl so much better too since it's less hair because sometimes if I take sections that are just too big it's just not curling and then it just takes me more time because I have to go over it a couple times until it's curled. One of the reasons why I love this hairstyle is because once you're done it just looks so effortless. It doesn't look like you spend tons of time curling your hair and it's just so pretty and this style will last for a couple days. And I love a hairstyle that I just don't have to touch for a couple days. You can just brush through your hair, you can redo a couple curls by the front of your face if you need to, but it's just, it lasts forever. And if I wasn't talking and explaining how to do this, I can honestly do this in probably 10 minutes. Okay, I didn't like how this one curled, ooh that was hot. So I'm just going to show you, you can recurl them until they're perfect. Hot Tools makes a few different sizes of the barrels. They make a one inch, a one and a quarter inch, and I guess one and a half inch and two inch. And I find that one and a quarter, that one's by far my favorite. I also have the one and a half. And I like how it looks after, like right after I've curled my hair, but then it just falls really easily because the curl is so much looser. So I find that the one and a quarter is the best for beginners or just for anybody. I highly recommend the one and a quarter inch barrel. Now this section of hair is completely done and we are on our last section, which is the top. So 
you're going to take my curled hair, put it to the side, and then work on the front section. I always take the most time on the top section because this one is the most important. If you mess up or don't love all the curls underneath, it doesn't really matter because you're really not going to see those curls underneath. But the layer that you're going to see the most is the top layer. So just make sure to just take your time and make sure the curls are just how you want them on the top. And I also recommend taking smaller sections on the top just so your curls are a little bit tighter because they will fall. If a curl is a little too curly for you, you can always just take it and kind of straighten it and it will make it much looser. So for the front piece, this piece right here is the most important, so I always break it into two smaller sections. don't like when the curl the front curl is up too high so what I do is I kind of just start down here and just roll it up to here I don't like rolling it up like as high as I would do some of the other ones towards the back because this is the face framing piece so that's why it's the most important and I don't want it to be super super curly I like it to start kind of mid cheek Next side, we are almost done. Just gotta make sure that I get all of the straight hair. Move it over to this side, just brush it out. And then I always like to just start from the back. You can totally start from the front, but I've just always started from the back, and that is how I do it. It's just easier for me that way, but you just gotta find whatever works for you. What I love about the Hot Tools curling irons and wands is that you can control the temperature, and that is really, really important because when you're using a hot tool, you don't want to use it on the absolute highest setting. That's just going to damage your hair, and especially if you're blonde and your hair is already damaged from so much color and bleach, you want to be able to control the temperature. So I never, ever have it at the highest temperature, so it's nice that you can kind of adjust it. I'm just going to clip this up really quickly and just get this piece right here. Okay, and again, this piece on this side is also very important because it is the other face framing piece. So I don't want to go up too high this way because I just don't want it to be too curly closest to my head. So I'll just let it go and drag it. Oops. Okay, so now that we are, my curling iron is going to fall on the ground. Now that we are done, I like to just, I'm going to move my curling iron because it's honestly going to fall. There we go. So I like to just kind of run my fingers through my hair and then I will take my teasing comb and I will just give it a little bit of a back comb right up by the root just to give it a little bit of lift. Nothing crazy. But just since I have fine hair, I don't want it to be sitting flat on my head. I like to just give it a little bit of a tease. And then sometimes I'll even take the teasing comb and just kind of brush through the curls. And then this is my favorite step using my Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. You gotta shake it. And then lift up your hair. 
and just kind of spray it all over. And then you really have to rub it in to activate it. This stuff smells so good. Okay, then we'll just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I also like to take some more and just kind of spray it through the length of my hair. And again, this isn't like a super curly look. It's more of just kind of like a, a wavy hairstyle and that's why I love it because I don't want it to be super tight curls. And then you just kind of have to massage the product through your ends. And the more you massage this into your hair and really work it in your hair, the bigger your hair is going to get. Like this, you need this. It's amazing. So at this time, I'll kind of look through my hair, see if there's any pieces that need a little more love. Sometimes the bottom pieces, since they're the first ones you curled, they need a little extra attention. So we'll just run through it really quickly again. It's usually always the bottom pieces that I just kind of go through and recurl. And then, last step, I take my Way Soft Hairspray and shake it and I'll just kind of spray just a little bit. I am not a huge hairspray fan. That's why I love this, it's a soft hold hairspray because I like being able to run my fingers through my hair. I don't like that starchy feeling. And this just helps keep it in place. If you have some flyaways, you could spray it up top and just kind of push them down. But that is it. It's honestly that simple. You just need a curling iron. I highly recommend the dry texturizing spray, a hairspray, and then a teasing comb is optional. But that is how I get this hairstyle that I do almost every single week. I love it so much and it's that simple. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Please like the video and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. I will be making videos every single week and I'd love to have you join me again. Thank you so much for being here today and I'll see you next time.